All right, so what's going on, Yelani? We got another one right here. So it goes for the inclined tube manometer. The pressure in pipe A is 0 0.6 PSI. The fluid in both pipes A and B is water, and the gauge fluid in the manometer has a specific gravity of 2.6. So what's the pressure in pipe B corresponding to the differential reading shown? Cool, so let's get started. So always write, first thing is knowns. Let's see, there you go. Uh, so we know it's water, right? So, mm -hmm. you know what? Let's start with the question first. So there's pipe A, pressure is 0 0.6 PSI. So we're dealing with pound per square inch. Nothing's in feet, so we're good. Uh, what else do we know? There's a specific gravity of this fluid right here. Let's see that. A fluid is equal to 2.6. So we got that. That means we could get the... Well, hold on. We know the specific weight of water. That is 62.4 in English units. 62.4 pound per feet cubed and multiply this times this to get the specific weight of the fluid so that will give you that's gonna be 162.24 pound per feet cubed so we got those two but these are in feet we got to convert these over to inches so if you do that all you got to do is divide by 12 three times if you've seen the other videos you should know what i'm talking about so Gamma of water will be 0 0.0361 pound per inch cubed. And the gamma of the fluid will be 0 0.094 pound per inch cubed. Cool, so these are the two we want because we're dealing with inches all around. So let me just get that out the way. So next step come up with the equation right so we're at point a we're going to arrive at point b so let's go ahead and do that step two move it up a little bit more in case you can't see so point a pressure at a now we're going down three inches so from this point to this point right here is three inches high so we're going down so that's positive we're dealing with water times our height three inches i'm gonna get rid of the units but everything's in inches here inches here uh we should get pressure um so from this point to this point uh we're gonna go up some distance so let me just put h here we gotta solve for this h now the reason i did this problem is because that's some trigonometry so i'm not sure how comfortable you'll be by the time you take this class so let's see. So we know sine 30. Bring it down in case you can't see. Sine 30 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. 8 inches right here. So H is equal to 8 sine 30. So just keep that in mind. Now we're going up again. And this is fluid right here. So we're going up. That's a negative. Gamma of the fluid, right, times your height, which is 8 sine 30. Now we're going from this point to this point. We're going up again, so that is a negative. We're dealing with water. Now your height here, they gave it to us, 3 inches. So cool. Again, you want vertical heights, not this distance right here. You want the up and down. Uh, and then we arrive at point B, pressure at point B. So let's go ahead and plug in. This is 0 0.6 right here, plus 0 0.0361 times 3, minus gamma fluid. That is 0 0.094. Sine 30 is just 0 0.5 times 8. That is 4. Minus, now water again, right? 
0 0.0361 times your height 3 is equal to PB. So cool, we know everything. Let's do a little bit of algebra. 0 0.6 plus, that's going to give you 0 0.0, not 0, I'm sorry, 1. 1083 minus 0 0.376 minus 0 0.1083 same thing so they cancel out actually so that was I didn't catch that at first equals PB do the math you get PB Let me move it up in case you can't see it PB is equal to 0 0.224 pound per inch squared or 0 0.224 uh, just PSI so yeah that's how you do this problem um, the only difference here and the other ones this one had a angle so again I'm not sure how good your trigonometry skills are by the time you take this course but yeah it's pretty much just finding this height. So I want to do another one with an angle, um, but there's a decrease in pressure at one of these. That's a little trickier, um, but I guess when we get there. But yeah, that's it for this one.